Hi everybody, welcome back to James Games, and in this video today, I'm going to show you how you can use your Joy-Con as a Wii Remote. So if you remember years ago, you had your Wii, and you had your sensor bar, and you had your Wii controller, then you can just point around it, and then, and then you can... Select numerous different things. Well, now we could do it on the Nintendo Switch. But we don't need the sensor bar to do it. Because all it's doing is it's just using the motion sensing technologies to do its thing. So, for example, it's wanting me to press the minus button. And point at the screen. And I can go down okay. Well, I don't have to point at the screen. I could point over here if I want. It's just using that middle point as the fixed point. But it does feel nicer when you point it at the screen. Now, you can't do this on all games at the moment. As far as I know, it's only implemented on World of Goo and Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. So this one is World of Goo. I'll show you Captain Toad Treasure Tracker in a moment, but this is World of Goo. So, if you need to recenter the pointer, it says you can press minus if you're using the left Joy-Con, or plus on the right Joy-Con, anytime during the game to recenter. Yeah, so you can point in whichever direction you want. I don't have to point at the screen. I can point wherever I want, but it does feel nicer when you point it at the screen. And like I said, you can't do this on all games at the moment. As far as I know, it's only implemented on Captain Toad, Treasure Trucker, and World of Goo, which is this one here. But, when they start bringing out the backwards compatibility, and maybe if they bring out Wii games then it will be possible to use your Joy-Con as a Wii remote. Alright, let's just get out of that. And let's go to change grip order. And get these together. I'm not going to put them in the grip, because then that would be stupid. For a game like Captain Toad Treasure Tracker or World of Goo. Now today, I just installed World of Goo. Since Vince, from My Mate Vince, told me that it's possible to use your Joy-Con as a Wii Remote on World of Goo. Well now it's on another game, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. There's currently a card in there, so I have to eject it. Yep, here, yep, here was the game that was in there. Can't find the case for it, so I'll just put it right there. All right. Oh, there's the case. Now, let's just put this one in. Also work. I have episode two and episode one. Let's do episode one. Let's do Touchstone Trouble because that uses the pointer. Yep, you can see that the pointer's working. It says, move the pointer onto objects and press ZR. And it says to press plus or the right analog stick to recenter the pointer. Like it would do, like you would do on World of Goo. Oops, just decided to make myself fall there.
Now you can't do this on all courses on Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. All right, let's try a harder course. Wait. Might do that whenever I end the episode. Spin wheel bullet bill base. Now that's obviously too hard, so I'm gonna grab my toad amiibo so I can grab an invisibility mushroom. I'm also gonna grab my Cap Mario amiibo so I can earn an extra life. All right, that's gonna be to reconnect this since I went too far. All right, I'm gonna hit the plus and I'll scan this amiibo to earn an extra life. I'll well, shoot two lives and I'm gonna use this amiibo to gain an invisibility mushroom. There we go. You can see that straight away I became invisible. Recenter that pointer. Yep, I could use this pointer to slow down the bullet bill. And nothing's going to happen to me since I'm invisible. We'll probably end it there. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe for more how-to videos. And check out Captain Toad Treasure Tracker or World of Goo. And if you have a Joy-Con, then you can definitely use your Joy-Con as a Wii remote. Without the sensor bar. You just need to use the motion sensing technology to do its thing. Take care. Bye now.